In this video, I absolutely decimate the enemy in the T-34-85 guy. Possibly the best T-34 in War Thunder. Hi guys, no intro today. That's just because I had too many good games in this thing that I had to kind of shoehorn in. This is the T-34-85 guy in the Chinese tech tree. Basically, a slightly modified T-34-85. Yeah, there's a Dishka 50 cal stuck on top of this thing. And of course, we have the... Yeah, I mean, you can call them whatever you want. Very, uh, nice. Now, those of you who have been watching the channel for a while will probably know that I don't really have a fondness for Russian vehicles, but recently, they've been performing really well, and there's probably a variety of reasons for that. Reason number one, volumetric hasn't come to this particular turret yet, so you're, I mean, you're just ridiculously survivable for no good reason. As well as that, this 45mm angled front plate definitely deflects more shots than it probably should and this particular driver's hatch on this t-34 even more trolly than the russian one now i do find that this version people will shoot at you more regularly first off the bat just because there's more of you to hit but the cupolas are actually very well armored and sometimes people will catch weird things like just the top end of your mantlet they'll snag on the machine gun and they won't actually do you any damage in which case you've got plenty of time to return fire and with the a5mm cannon it's normally not going to end well for the enemy newer players will probably have the same idea as me when they first played this tank they looked at its penetration value at 5.7 and thought well that's not very good i don't want to play this thing i'll just stick to the is2 but this thing if you have a smidgen of a side shot, even one degree of a panther, it's free real estate and it's going to die. Don't aim for flat parts of armor, definitely more sloped sides is what you want to be aiming for with this thing. You'll see in the video, this cannon is incredibly destructive. It just eats into angles like you wouldn't believe. Upper front plate of a jumbo, it's going clean through. A smidge of a angled tiger, yep, you'll kill that as well. This cannon is just absolutely bonkers. I can't recommend this tank enough. It's so good. So good, in fact, we're just going to get right into the action. Hey, oh yeah, this one only has two exits this way. Yeah, advance the ring. Hey, single cap though. And we're playing against USA and Russia. I really like facing Germany. Our team are idiots, unfortunately. They're going 10 line. But we really need to be out this way. I'm going to try and call out my teammates over this direction. We've lost this match already. Just looking at the map. I have to pull their weight. We've got a problem of maybe ending up going too deep here and catching the people respawning on our side. But we really need to thin these numbers out pretty quickly. Yeah, one closer. And that D34 there, I think, just. He's looking my way. No oh, IS-1. Don't even think about it. This is our problem now where these guys are going to be spawning on this side and coming up our right hand side. So many tanks on the street as well. I can't shoot through that, it's not a destructible object anymore. There's two of you. Right, that big one's dead. This dude I think just drove around the corner, yeah he didn't. And then I've got a guy on this original cap. I'm sure what my team are trying to call out here. What are you shot in the back, but it doesn't matter to me. Jumbo. Come around, dude. Or not. 
or not. I wanted an easier side shot. You can sometimes bait the Shermans into doing that. Swing, hull swinging. Oh, there's a guy on A. Eh? T34E and a jumbo over here. There's still a T34 85 hiding in there as well. Yeah, I see you, dude. Rid of the big guns first. This jumbo might shoot my the cupolas. Very likely will, actually. Where's the T-34E though? We've got a Panther D supporting me there. He's giving me enough of a side right now. Yep. Here comes the T-34E. Or just normal T-34. I need to get out of this area, it's really bad. He just fired. I'm gonna give up my side just to get this shot at him. Engine radiator, and then we'll try the cupola from here. I don't, there we go. That Tiger E got his cupola. Right. 10 line, I think there's still a guy. Although, that's a really stupid move if we're going this way. Just to drive out here like lunatics. Anybody else? I really, actually I think we're clear now. Right, swing back round. Our teammates are coming now. I'm really glad I went the way I did. Another jumbo. Here come the planes though. This is when we're going to get our ass kicked, I think. Tiger E, I need you to be pay attention to this. Jumbarino here. I fluffed that shot so bad. Shoot me, did he missed? Okay, good. I let my teammate deal with it. Jumbo, and it worked out. There's another one back there as well. Let's shoot through over this. Yes, we can. And there's another one back there as well. Another Sherman. He's very much alive. Oh, he just died. He may clap them so hard. Right, back to brawl mode. Another guy here. Perfect. And then an, an anti-air, I think. That side. I can hear an enemy tank to my left. Good lord. Mighty Mouse Rockets, I think. We're in. Deep through there here. A lot of danger. <laughs> A lot of danger. I really want to peek this guy, but I don't want to get killed as well. Right forward, dude. Damn, jumbo. Right, this guy on my right side is still lurking there. There's still another one this end as well. This is the most intense fight I've been in in the last week, I would say. Right. Still more. There's still more. Hanging on the left, and then this guy's still this side too. I just don't know where he's going. Attention. Oh 
Oh my god, this is terrifying. Okay. This this chairman may get a full sense of security. No, he isn't. Bad shot, but I got his driver and his gunner. There's an M18 there as well as the Sherman now. Shoot me to the wall. No, what the hell? Oh, I got shot from behind. I got shot from behind. 15 kills. 15 kills. Well, luckily our teammates are kind of holding off. That was a very frantic nine minutes. Unfortunately, uh, no nuke at this BR. Sadly. Enemy plane coming, but it's going to be too late. There's so many tanks down here as well in this corner. Bombs out. And then... This enemy plane's coming up behind me. That's GG though. Well done. Okay, we kind of got unlucky with the map by the looks of it. Um, we're against... Oh no, France? You're saying France. Jumbo's going to be kind of annoying. By the way, something to bring up. Um, I've been covering the roundels on my Chinese vehicles. A lot of people commented on it and I've had to ban a few people from YouTube comments. Um, the reason I cover them up is stupid racist idiots uh, team kill you for having specific roundels on your tank. So I just cover them up with tires and then people get offended that they, I covered the roundel up. Uh, that's mad. That'd be like me like team killing someone for having an English flag on their tank. Like, just stop, dude. It's really embarrassing. It's a super cringe thing to do. Oh, you going M18. That was such a bad shot I got on that guy. I mean, like, my own fault. Yo, you only need to, like, calm down, honestly. It's better. That is better. What's up, Tiger? Are you going to help me here or are you just going to sit there? There's M18s and stuff around, champ. I'm going to need some assistance. That's a super purging. Yo, yo, big man, we're in trouble. Okay, now let him just do his thing, right? No, 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 listen, dude. That is, that is not an easy thing to deal with. What's going on with my tank here? Why is it doing that? Oh, because I'm half on this tiny rock. The game can't decide what surface I'm not actually sitting on. Oh, he moved. I'm trying to get the little bit of turret cheek under his ear. We're in here for a long haul. This is battle, so... I don't really need to move just yet, and I'm not going to move when there's a Super Persian around, let me tell you. Not at all. So we still got an M18 and a Sherman down there as well. I could try and clear some ground, but I don't think it's a great idea. Not after something this way. Actually, it looks like my teammate needs help over this side. No, he needs more than help, he's dead. We're gonna need a medical worker to bring him back. Hey, we're on our way. I didn't see what it was that actually killed the tiger, but this panther is now getting shot as well. That's probably a jumbo, actually. He's buried himself in that little cranny in here. He surely heard me though, right? Something's to my left as well. There he is. I'm obviously more concerned about this thing on my left, whatever the hell he is. Oh, it's an M18 here. Yeah, okay. Right, jump. Jump, no, dude. I don't want to 
pick a fight with you when you're ready. Oh, we're in a stock tank. I just have like parts in FPE mainly, so oh no. Don't notice me. Hold on. I don't. That. T25 or whatever the hang it is. I need to get the drop on this guy. Which might not happen, and we don't have very good gun elevation, depression, and stuff, so he fired. Uh huh. Good. Right, that super person's still that direction, and we still got a jumbo harassing our team here, but now I'm in a really bad spot. Was that super person, by the way? I need to get round here as fast as I can. Alright, I'm gonna get shot in the back, for sure. I can almost feel it. Right, this KV-220 is moving round. Let's see if this mad lad's still in here. Probably is. I'm pushing through. I am pushing through here. Is that that cocky boy right there, dude? Oh, he, he pushed right out there. Right, okay. Uh, I actually gave up quite a good bit of ground for no reason then. Things going well though. Things are going well. But we're doing we're doing T3485 things. Of course I just died. Right, I am definitely worried about this thing coming back round. He did not get shot from the left either. Oh, he's on fire. He's dead. Okay, and I lost a teammate around this way again. <laughs> to something. I'm happy with four kills. And it's been... You know... It's been the kind of kills you need to get in a T-34-85. Okay, a T-25 now. Something's definitely there at the right hand side again. Drop an RT on me? Somebody's seen me then. The Y'all wonder how I get spotted and stuff, that's the kind of evidence you're looking for. This building offers no hard cover either. I'm just gonna back us up. I'm gonna back us up. Let me get a wee scout on that. We get no artillery here either. The Keep an eye on these planes coming in. If any of them decide to target me. With battle you can't really be pushy, right? Especially when I've only got one tank. But people generally tend to lose patience quite quick. We can take advantage of that. Like this guy and his bulldog. Certainly gonna have a bad time here. Hey, I, th I thought I hit the rock, but I actually hit him. An M18 or a jumbo? What are you? That is a very scary Sherman. Such a bad shot, dude. Such a bad shot. Do it to me. That's the stuff. Oh my god, my teammates saved me. God, the suspension is nasty, dude. Nasty. One of the reasons I don't like the T-3485. I should have just kept reversing. Luckily I had that. Hold on, I'm giving this guy an excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Without him I would have been dead. That's a lot of marks there. It must have been a plane getting shot. See all those like uh, markers on the map a second ago? Loads of them. It's 
Let's get this repaired up. I'm gonna wait till the allies are a little bit more on the ground. <laughs> are they marking? Somebody on that hill that I actually can't see. That's a Jackson right there. Definitely want rid of this guy. Ah, there's something wrong with my ping or whatever. See that? This is a EU server. Okay, I need to lead a bit better then to make up for that. Right, they're, they're on our. Yeah. yeah. I see him. He may got him. Two of them. Yeah, this is the impatience with people on battle maps. We just gotta chill out. Right, a little bit more lead than normal. A bit too much that time. I might die here actually. 76 will punch me easy. I got only his gunner. Not enough, uh, not enough meat in the tank to set my APAG off. And a guy, I can hear him running over buildings to my left. This allied team really threw all the hard at us at the start and it's not paid off. You never, never ever rush the cap on battle. Never ever do it. Take your time. Otherwise this is gonna happen. Our team now are super bolstered. And it's dead too. See this, like, desperation now? Spawning anti-airs and stuff. I, I really be need, I need to be careful of my cupola with this guy. Another anti-air up here. Right. There he goes, dude. Another oh, duster. I'm gonna ping this guy for my teammate. Tiger 2P will make short work of this guy. There we go. Enemy planes now. Well, we got a hit with my 50 cal. I really want this Sherman to push out. I don't want to be the, the person that pushes him. Not at all. There we go. He's coming. Park him for this Panzer 4. He really, is, really, really wants me, dude. There we go. Oh, and another one here. And I think another one behind him again. Try and get a better spot now. So people like that just can't drive anywhere they like. You can't really spawn camp on this map because the objective is between the two enemies. Spawns. Is still alive up here? Oh, absolutely he is. And he still is. He doesn't have the gun elevation to hit me. Look. Oh, another anti here. Hold on. Lower an HE. This rock. Okay. Let's say, is that rock actually like a, a physical object? You can never tell in North London these days. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, we're on their cap, which puts a tiny bit of pressure on. And I think the last guy is that P-51. His team got melted. Yeah, he, that last guy is the P-51. Yeah, eight, eight kills and one death. Uh, a whole squad of them, actually. We come back in his P-51 and get a multi-kill. Patience is a virtue, right? That's what they say. This is my first game in this too. I really enjoyed this. 
It was a good time. Underdogging. Awesome. The other guy's left. This guy... If it was me, I would probably just chill out in the runway just to save everyone's time, but he might come back here with the... Uh, 2,000 pounders. <laughs> everyone look, everyone split up, dude. If this was low tier, everyone would be in a cluster. That's pretty funny. Here he comes, look. Yo, good luck, big man. We're all here on the cap. Come and get us. <laughs> Come on, dude. Look at us all. That's the one. That's the one, dude. There it is. There it is. Get the puma. <laughs> Yeah, you want to get that plane as well? Get him, dude! Get him! <laughs> get that bread, bud. Well done. Well done. That's the stuff. There we go. 11 kills, first game. I'm happy, dude. It's very good stuff. There you go. This right here is a very good tank. I can't recommend it enough. Also, there's another one, which is pretty much identical, except it doesn't have the Dushka on top. And then if you're absolutely nuts, you can go for a very basic premium one that's for some reason rank four and not rank three. Hmm. Anyway, this thing was a pleasure to play. I'm probably going to do some more China stuff later on. We still have this PL02 thing to bring out and the Type 59 and Type 69 to review as well, so you can expect them pretty shortly. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It makes a massive difference. Honestly, the channel has been growing huge. Normally, I would get 50 to 100 new subs every day, which is already crazy, but it's been like 200 plus just because you hit the like button, which is absolutely huge. The more we do this, the more funds I can get together, the more likely it is I can move house, which means a video every day, and a live stream every day where you get to play with me. I like doing VR squads. I'd like that to happen. So let's get the like button smashed. Also, a huge thanks to the contributors from Patreon. You guys are invaluable. Honestly, it's amazing. Thank you for your support. And a special thanks to all the tier three Patreon subscribers over there. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Bill L, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Gateway, Houndy, Ian, Justin Darlin, Ken the Salt Lord, Ralph, Rige, Stoyan, The Fire Piper, Trash Panda, Useless Tardia, Varian, Warpig, Zema, Ollie Fox, Yogbo, Schaff, Jesse Bisma, Fork, J Tormy, and Mr. Buzzwell. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.